Hello everybody, V the Amazing Greek here. Uh, I finally finished the modifications to the survival pouch I mounted onto the MTEC uh, MT151. I uh, started this months ago and then somebody had commented on the video and said when you finish it up, you know, send me a note. And uh, well, I was like, shit, I need to finish it, you know. So, uh, the previous video I showed where I mounted this, how I uh, cut the uh, mole straps off slid this in how it was attached so what I've done now is uh, let me step a little closer on the back of this Hold on. Step I, back. There you go. I've taken some strapping and buckles like this and what I did was I looped the strap underneath the mole straps and around and I secured them onto the bottom clip and sewn that up right here. Then, after it was on this bottom strap of the mole pouch, I sewed right here. This is all by hand. You have to do it with needle and thread. Uh, the thicker and more durable your strap is, the rougher it's going to be on your fingers. I put the needle through my thumb and finger several times, but uh, that's just, you know, I, I'm not going to pay somebody to do it. That's my motto. If I can do it, I'm not going to buy it. Uh, so I sew here, go across, then I came up, went across again, and then do a little bit of crisscross pattern uh, to make it strong. Then uh, I did the same thing up here. It's, it's very durable. This is not going to come off. Uh, and when I did that, after I put the sheath back in, I, I had to take the sheath out to do that. This is not, this is not strapped in. It's just the knife hanging here. It takes a good bit to pull that out. Now on the leg strap, uh, somebody had mentioned maybe put some 550 cord. I've tried that before with other knives. I didn't care for it because the thinness of it uh, just kind of digs in your leg. So I've got about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter of strapping. And underneath the last mole strap right here, using the edges where they previously had sewn this pouch, and that's going to make it a little bit harder, needle and thread through. I went down, then I came back up, and then about halfway again, just to make sure it's secure, then I did it again on this side. Now, the way it sits on my leg, I have the buckle on the back side, because my thinking was, I didn't want to be walking through the woods or doing something, something hit the clip and it pop off that's what i was thinking the likelihood of that happening is not very high uh but you can sew it any way you want you can put the the buckle where it goes on the inside of your leg so you can use both hands i noticed the other night when i tried it on i was having trouble trying to reach around so uh i'm gonna hit oh the top part of the buckle right, let me explain that real quick again i put it strapping all the way through and I overlapped it about this much. Then I sew, sew, all the way around, then crisscross. And that's very sturdy. And this loop that I made is for the military uh, army belt right here. This is what I typically wear uh, on my jeans and stuff. They're six bucks at an army surplus store. Uh, that will fit on that. And the intention is put this on your belt buckle you can carry this you know don't have to have your knife then you can just click the knife on also what this does is if you're wearing an LBE uh, belt say you have your belt on like this and you've got your vest and all that say you have to ditch your gear to crawl in a hole somewhere you know climb a tree your knife is still with you you don't lose the knife so even if you you know get caught up in a situation have to dump your gear you still have some gear with you so we're going to stop here i'm going to put this on my uh, belt and then show you how it fits and everything and then uh if you guys have any questions you can send them to me all right so i got on my belt the receiving clip right there like i said i was having problems putting the strap on so what i'm going to do i'll put the strap on first Don't let your pants material get in the way. There we go, we're secure. Bring it around. There we go. 
Holds good. Doesn't move a lot when I take my knife in and out. See? Doesn't wiggle and jiggle. The strap is very comfortable. I don't have it too low down by my knee. And also on this buckle, if I need to, I can pull and adjust it. Uh, this one's very sturdy, so typically I have to unbuckle it, adjust a little bit. But this is very, um, a very sturdy, uh, kind of thick and stiff strap. If I wanted it to be a little more uh, mobile while I'm wearing it, then I'd use a, a uh, more like what you would buy at Walmart, those type of camping straps, which would work. Uh, I just didn't want it to, I wanted it to make sure it was strong. Uh, like I said, you can see it's right there. Uh, then again, if I had my web belt on, no problem. It sits above this plus. Now, where this would have sat right here, and I have to pull up, possibly into my gear, right there. I'm good to go. And uh, the, res the review for this one is coming. Uh, the M Tech MT151. Uh, I just didn't... I didn't want you guys to have to watch me chop more wood here in the garage. That gets old, I know. So I need to go out in the woods, give it a real test. Uh, but see, just like that, everything's over. Good knife. And it feels awesome just sitting there like that. Like I said, I could be out in the woods on a hunting trip, and then I got to go to Walmart. No problem. They don't like me wear this. Boom. Nice gone. Little buckle. And if you think ahead, uh, which I didn't on this particular case, you can order these things online, buckles and straps and all that. If you had a bunch of knives and you say, I like to wear this one for that, this one for that, because we all know one knife does not do every job, uh, then you can make you a receiver clip and just set up all your knives the way you want. Today I want to wear the uh, MTech uh, 525. Uh, today I want to wear my K bar. You know, I might want to wear my uh, any. There's a thousand knives out there, you know, your Gerber Gator. Machete you could do if you wanted to strap halfway here. Then you just take whatever knife you're using that day. And if you know how to work a clip, what am I doing wrong? There you go. It's just human error. There you go. Get out of my face. Okay. Of course, you need to find a hole to put in. I said I want a burger, not a hot dog. Works for a thousand uses. Clean your fucking room, kids. So there you go, you know. I said I want a BJ for my birthday. However you want. So it works for a thousand uses. It's awesome. I don't have to worry about the knife jiggling out, you know. Put your little survivor kit in there. You know. These, uh, for this particular pouch, it's a magazine holder for the uh, M16 two 30-round clips. This one is awesome. Uh, these little fishing uh, tackle boxes, you can put stuff in there, compartments in there, and then on the outside of it, you can put you a sharpening stone, a, um, a flint and, not flint steel, the magnesium block. It's got the snap, it's got the Velcro, it's not going nowhere. See? Awesome. So, hopefully, somebody take that idea, get some use out of it, maybe make you one, send me a video response, see how that works. See? So, uh, I hope that helps you guys. I'm V the Amazing Greek, uh, and I will catch you next time on our next project. Thanks for watching. You don't have to wait till your birthday or.